Do you ever think of making a fiction film? No. No. I, I, I really love what I do. I love filming, waiting for the right moment to film, to film it when it happens. Mm. Not for me. It would happen anyway. But I, I, I put... I put the reality in my frame. I love this. Mm -hmm. In his frame. Mm. But let's say... And also I, I, I feel very uncomfortable with actors. Mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable with people, with any people, except actors. Mm. But you too, because it's not real actors in your films. Mm -hmm. But I used, I mean, lately I've, I've used, and uh, not lately, you know, I, I would say <coughs> even before, I, I've used actors. Uh, but it's not about, uh, it's not it's about very comfort. Hard, no? Oh, um, no, it's not about actors and non actors. First of all, you use yourself, because you can, you know, count on you. But which is the hardest, by the you way? You use your friends. Mm -hmm. And my family. And, and your family. Yeah. Not many actors, really. Quite a few, but not many. But, but the reason is not discomfort. The reason many times is, is, is the aesthetic approach, and sometimes it's the style, and sometimes it's the fact that quite a few actors from, uh, let's say, uh, Palestinian and Israelis come from uh, quite a theatrical background. So oh, okay, these are all... Excuses. Mm. You you are the director. You can tell them, teach them to act differently if mm. you want. It's not so easy. I mean, I, I used, in fact, yeah. I used theater actors mm. in cinema, and I have to tell you that we had to rehearse ten times the amount of time in order to non-act them, mm. in order to reduce them from kind of fa facial dramatic expressions. And I'm talking about a particular, a particular the theatricality that I don't admire, no, mm. I, don't, I, I dislike, in fact. And the fact that it's dominant in, in Israel, this sort of Israel and Palestine, this sort of dramatization. Mm. So it's, it's... Now that's one reason. The other, the other reason is the fact that... Um, Acting is not about drama of, of expressions nor animation many times. It's because, I, I said it's style, it's because an actor for me is also a choreographic movement. And therefore it does not need, you know, a, a, an actor. And at the same time I won't go to use a dancer because that will be perfecting the role. Mm. So I try to use, an, the, uh, or, or to make use, an aesthetic use of the awkwardness of a non-actor mm. uh, and, and, and participate with that person mm. who comes from his own experience to actually uh, produce some kind of aesthetic effect out of it. So it becomes more interesting, more fresh, uh, mm. etc. But this is the reason. But it's true that maybe a kind of, in certain scenes, a kind of close uh, proximity to a reality that you get more interesting looking uh, characters and, and more interesting looking behaviors from simply people you know. Yeah. <coughs> so, but uh, also from people you don't know. And, people, uh, you you know, know. and also from people you don't know. And also I think uh, I shall not make fictions because something very social. Uh, because my films are, are really, it, it's my life, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's <coughs> I, 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 can, I could film every day. And um, the, the power of the position of power of the director on a fiction set is something I can't imagine myself in this position. It's already not easy for me, the, this power with a documentary crew, which is five, six persons. Uh, but to think that I could arrive in the morning and I will have 50, 60 persons waiting for me to tell them, put the camera here and do this, and uh, you know, being God, you are God mm. when you make fiction, even your kind of, of fictions, mm. because you recreate the world from, from zero. Mm. Uh, you, the, 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 the person is dressed like you want him to be dressed, he talks like you want him to talk, he says what you want him to say. Everything is what you want. So you are God. But it fits people who are vulnerable, like myself, you <laughs> <think>. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't. 
I couldn't. Mm. It's not a moral judgment, uh, mm. but I know myself. Mm. Yes, but if you, uh, well, on this level I can... Socially, it would be very, very uh, hard for me. You, maybe, you, you know, with two actors closed in a room, maybe. I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah. if, if we put you uh, yeah. with one person, yeah. you know, yeah. it's possible. Not more. Yes, yeah. but, but I was going to uh, say, cinema is not about, yeah. you know, 60 people all the time. It's also yeah. about sometimes uh, putting a yeah, small yeah. camera and, yeah. uh, you know, it, it, it just depends on the medium. Yeah. <coughs> you have to create everything. You dress the actors so somebody has to... But you don't to have to. You don't have to. No. Nobody puts any kind of limitation or restrictions on what fiction means. Neither do I think that there is that kind of exact border. <clears throat> I mean, the checkpoint is crossable in this case, uh, and the uh, boundaries are blurred. And I think what is documentary and what is fiction is something that can, can be endlessly shifting. So yeah. it, I, I think the mechanism that categorized documentary from fiction is maybe industrial more than anything else. And also, um, I just read a book, a very good book, by uh, Jean-Louis Comoli, about dealing a lot with this, and he has, um, he has a very nice definition. He says, in, in uh, a fiction, when the man dies, everybody knows that he dies, and one minute after he will wake up, have a drink of water and make the next uh, take in a documentary. When he dies, he died. Mm. You know, and the public knows it. And it's a game. Mm. Uh, and so the perception of the same image is very different. Mm.